When you find a lady with good looks and good humor, well, it's a real find. Now, she's here tonight at the Friars, lady, our dear Susie Esman. Yeah. Come on, Susie. My God, you're Oriental. Hi, where's Soupy? Hi, Soup. You know, I'm so thrilled to be here because I used to watch you when I was a kid. I would race home from school to watch you. Mickey, I used to watch the reruns. Larry Storch, Larry Storch, I used to watch F Troop. And like, little did I know then, as a small child, that you would all end up as old Jew fucks, you know? <laughs> You know, watching you sing Bafalafaka, I never thought you would end up as this old thing that you are. And I remember the first time I met you. <laughs> it was right here at the Friars Club, first time I met you, and I was so surprised because out of nowhere, he just said to me, whore. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I got up off my knees. <laughs> And I marched out of that stall with my dignity intact, okay? And every other guy, every other old Jew fuck in that men's room knew that I was a lady. <laughs> Let me look at all of you delightful people. Now you're Trudy, you're the wife? For how long? How long have you been married to Soup? 21 years, so you're the second wife. Yeah, okay. See, I can't be anybody. If I married like, and you're younger than him. Yeah, either that or you've had a lot of work done, True. Okay? <laughs> you're a little younger. So you're like the second trophy wife. No, what, what? Oh, I can't do that because, I, you know, I, I, I don't want to go. If I married you, Joey. Now, never mind, you were never married, were you? What is it, intimacy difficulties, commitment problems? Share with us. I'm not gonna go there. It's Soupy's birthday, I know, because you know I'll get you good. You know, he's my good friend. So Soup, now the thing is, what, was, what kind of dog was White Fang? I'm asking for a reason. What kind of dog was he? He was just a dog, he was like a mutt. Because I have a new theory now. Any single women here? Yes, right here, okay. I have a new theory now that you could tell what a guy is gonna be like in bed by what kind of dog he has. Okay, for example, all terriers, premature ejaculators. That's just a fact, all right? Tell me, do you have a dog soup? How about you, Mick? Mickey, I'm talking to you. You don't hear so good anymore, do you? I know, you know how I know, because he told me that Nipsey Russell couldn't be here because he said that he had the flu. That's not what he said. He said, I can't perform in front of all those Jews. That's what he said, not the flu. Yeah. But do you have a dog? Now who, what guys here have dogs? And I'll tell you what you like in bed. What do you have? Bichon? Okay. If you have a Bichon or a Poodle or a Shih Tzu or a Yorkie, you are a good catch. Because any dog, any guy who's secure enough in his sexuality to carry around a faggy little dog like that, that's a good lay. That's right. Any others? Dachshund, it's the same thing. Joe, you don't have a dog. Don't start with me. 21 years, so, so, so Trudy, every 21 years, every morning you wake up, there's soupy. Every night you go to sleep, there's soupy. Soupy in the morning, soupy at night. Soupy in the morning. Don't you want like a, a Tom, Dick, or Mickey every now and then? What do you do to keep the heat? Do you do the fantasy? Where like soupy's the executioner and you're the shepherdess? Do you do that kind of thing? You do. You have, the heat wears off. I can't be in a relationship for longer than two years. I could be so hot for the guy in the first two years, and then something just happens to me where I bolt out of bed one day and just say to myself, I don't think I want this thing being constantly shoved down my throat. It's over, you know? That's it. First two years, you're into it, you crave it. After that, you're like, you're gagging. You remember Trudy 19 years ago when it all changed? Oh, but he, but he goes on the road a lot, so that's okay. You're so cute, Mickey. That was another thing about the Bilko show. You know, if you watch it now, you see it's just a bunch of old Jews on that show. They're in the army. What was that? There? What was that about, that show? Did I fuck you? Because you look so familiar to me. No. 
No. No, I would remember. Yeah, sure. Hi, 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 hi. You know, you're one of the reasons I became a comedian. Seriously, I, I mean, I just thought if he could do that, I. Uh. No, seriously, you are one of the reasons I became a comedian, and now I am. I'm thinking of changing my profession. I'm thinking of being, becoming a porno star. I am. My first movie, the title's gonna be, you call that a penis? <laughs> the sequels, I don't think so. But, um, what should I leave you with? I, I don't know. I, I, now, so you've been married to Trudy for, you're staring at me in this very disapproving way, this lady here. I see that. It's okay, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, I do, I know so, for a matter of fact, because you're sitting next to soup. So, if you don't behave, there's gonna be a pie right in your face. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, are you a sensitive guy, Sue? Do you find women confusing? Yes, you do, okay. You know why that is? Because men are simple and women are complex. We love you guys, but we love you in a patronizing way. <laughs> like kind of how you love the village idiot. You know what I mean? <laughs> Are, are you a sensitive guy? Do you, when, when you have sex with Trudy, do you care about how you make her feel? Think back 18, 19 years ago. <laughs> the show was still on the air. You were doing the mouse. Do you care about how you make her feel? Yeah, you do. Yeah, I always get these guys that say they care, but they couldn't give a shit. You know, like my last boyfriend, he would ask me questions in bed as though he cared, but he couldn't have cared. Like, say things to me like, tell me what you want. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you want. There. I want a milkshake. What do you think I want? You know, how many things can I want in this position? You know. <laughs> Finally, you're tired, you're bored, you want to watch some Bilko reruns. You're like, whatever you're doing is fine. And meanwhile, he's humping my shin bone like a wired hair terrier. It doesn't work. Remember, Joe? <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Susie, forget about the invitation for the PTA. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't.